What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are joined by my friend Misha on Wheels, who you guys probably all know very, very well. His Instagram will be up here. And you very recently bought, bought yeah, well, not only just a new car, but your dream, dream car. car. Yeah, that was a dream car. This McLaren 600 LT, which is absolutely stunning. Congratulations, first of all, high five. Sure, yeah, awesome, awesome, nah, well, purchase. I mean, this is so cool. And the natural next step for you, because previously to this, you owned a McLaren 570. Well, are you saying that I'm gonna get a Senna afterwards? Or well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, who knows? I'd go more P1, but you can do Senna yeah, if you P1. like. Well, actually, we were talking about it on our way up here. I actually think this is the best looking McLaren alongside the P1. P1. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because- Senna is, is amazing, but ugly. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is just- yeah, no, this is absolutely stunning. And especially in your spec, you've nailed it. So first of all, technicalities, this is a hardcore lightened version track of, oriented, yeah, track oriented. Like exactly. I actually made a full like track video on this, which I'll link somewhere so you can see me driving this. Today, it's all about my friend bought his dream car. We're going to walk around the spec. We're going to show you, but it's lighter. They've updated the suspension, your exhaust system, a bit more power up to 600 now. Fastened up the, the, the gearbox. Everything has been made it more expensive. Made it more. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the shit part, yeah. But um, they've also added carbon absolutely everywhere, which you have on your spec, because these yes. don't come kind of there completely of, specced. The problem with the 600s, like when I was looking for one, the problem is that there are a lot on the market. Well, a lot, okay. There's yeah. probably what, like 1,500 in the world, some stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But then all of them are just so cheaply specced. Yeah, and yeah, And I was yeah. like, I really want a, you know, a really hardcore spec, and then I found that. And know, this is I perfect. Didn't spec it new, I just found because it's not a limited edition, but it's limited production, production time. Yeah, I think a yeah. one and a half. So yeah. like we could say one thousand. Oh yeah, one thousand. One thousand five hundred. Yeah. Spiders. Right? Yeah. So which, which is, is not huge. No. Think about it. No, I wish there would be a number. Yeah, yeah, it would McLaren be. Yeah. Are just, well, if there was a number, you maybe would have had to pay more for it. So I guess in, in some way, it's so a good thing. Just be happy yeah, yeah. Just be quiet, exactly. But this one is awesome. So first of all, the paint color is, what's it called again? Chicane gray effect. Chicane gray effect, which means it's completely metallic. It's with gray, little... but with like red stuff in there. I don't know if you see on the yeah. camera. Yeah, it's really cool because there is chicane gray normal, which is kind of like a flat Nardo gray. Nardo gray, basically. Yeah, not a gray, but this. Like Nardo gray with a, with a little to it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which just mixes in so well with the carbon because when the car is black you don't really see the carbon yeah and here the whole cool thing about it is that you really see the carbon out, you know it's like yeah you, even on camera here you can tell that that's carbon fiber yeah. and you've got basically every single possible option sorry for some noise there's some construction going on around yeah, here but <laughs> yeah we didn't choose the best spot but look full carbon front splitter which is completely new uh design compared to the uh 570 you got these little winglets here yeah, to feed the air to. on that piece right yeah here. so this is all extra yeah exactly. does that affect like when you're driving and it that, do you feel like it's a bit wider lower, right because when you're taking like an angle yeah because the car is longer here that means you have you know less space so you yeah. scrape over yeah That's yeah you sure. have lift but you still scrape because that thing is just way longer but we gotta live with that <laughs> it's true it's true yeah well at least you have a lift i don't have a lift in any of my cars actually i say that like i've got a massive collection there's only two okay. yeah <laughs> new wheels yeah which are really cool black really nice lightweight. goes well with the carbon lightweight lightweight something, lightweight something. yeah they, they have some fancy name carbon here on the mirrors really cool carbon doors which are absolutely awesome so carbon up here carbon down here yeah. new winglets as well yeah with the 600 lt sign uh, you've even got carbon behind here option carbon on the air vents and this is an option that it's open that's a really expensive option otherwise it's not we'll talk about the interior in a second but a carpet oh i see because normally it's a carpet oh no way yeah you get like an egyptian carpet there yeah <laughs> here you get a, here you get a full carbon, carbon. yeah the art that is cool because yeah, yeah. not many have that no. that's an expensive option as well but then it's very expensive to change it when you touch this. oh my god <laughs> i mean they put carbon in the spots where you don't necessarily really want to have carbon is it's it? all because about the weight okay it's all about the weight that's exactly. true now this, this is, is very rare, rare. Yeah. Uh, not many people have this full carbon fiber roof because often i think they have like the center but not this part right yeah here for some reason it's both so one of the parts is mso i don't really remember the spec list but I think the roof is MSO and then that's just the third option yeah, of yeah, carbon, yeah. But, one, but whatever it's made. But having the whole thing is yeah. so sick. It completes the look of the car. I love how you got your Insta on the side as well, yes. not hanging about. We've got the engine cover as well, twin turbocharged V8, of course, yes. as with uh, well, all McLarens. All McLarens. Yeah. And this new exhaust system where the valves are already open, 
famously shoots massive flames. Oh, you know, by the way, um, so this car should, shoots flames. So I was revving it the other day and we yeah. were able to get flames. But now the next time we're going to take it for service, they're going to put an update so we can't rev it anymore. What? Yeah. There's, Why? There's a new update. Uh, they're going to limit the revving. like with the Just because they were, they were catching fire? Everybody's sort of standing there revving for two minutes. Obviously, that's not good for the engine. Yeah. So next time I'm going to take it to service, I'm not going to have the No thing. way. So you need to make the most out of it and get all the content flaming yeah, at first. The engine maybe. <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, exactly. So then when you get the update, well, look, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, exactly. Heat shield plaque here. So this is painted. That's in not a carbon. No, this is the only thing you have that's not carbon. The guy sort of specced it when he bought it, right? And then he was like, I'm going to save on the wing. Because you bought it secondhand yeah. with 1,500 kilometers, yeah, so like so 900 it's miles. New. It's new. Yeah. I sort of... But you didn't actually spec it yourself no, from factory. But yeah. To be honest, if I would to be spec a 600 LT, yeah. that, that would be the spec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That color, orange details, carbon everywhere, yeah. Senna seats all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's beautiful. And I mean, this is just like a complete slabber of carbon on the back absolutely massive and you can even see through to the exhaust system through there but this is all carbon you do not want to like reverse into a pole i did with my old one. Oh, please don't do it with this one into a plant which was happened to be concrete so i had like oh no that i'm extra careful yeah. yeah i mean this you need to be super careful because i don't even want to think what that would be to replace 20k yeah Something oh, like that. I think and any, anything you touch on this car is probably like is, 10, yeah, yeah. 10, it's like 10,000 every time, yeah. Yeah, well, these make me think of the Visac 918s. Yes, um, cool that you can see the tire through it. Yeah, what are you on? You're on the P0s, yeah. There is an option to put the car says. I was been talking to McLaren, they're like, You should put the car says because it's gonna completely change the car, yeah. And I've been trashing it already, and it's believe me enough yeah the, guy, the guys like put the courses it's gonna be like two times better. yeah i think the one i drove had courses on it and it was unbelievable so drift those i guess right and then drift these yeah. get rid of these and put the courses on and then drive it in the rain yeah. and you'll have a great time <laughs> and then let's talk about the interior quickly while it's while it's sat here because you have a very very classy interior first of all all alcantara, all alcantara. There's no leather in this yeah. thing, but you've got the magical center seats, seats, which require a pillow for the passenger. For your girlfriend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you announced that online yet? No. no? Uh, <laughs> for, sorry, we'll beep that out for your friend. Yeah, for my friend, I got a pillow. Pillow right yeah, there. Because uh, I don't know why, but I feel like those are way more comfortable than those. Maybe it's just because I'm holding the steering wheel. Yeah. But I've been a passenger here, and I'll be honest, it's it's not as comfortable. I as don't the find it too bad. I think they look more hardcore than they feel personally. Getting in, getting in is, a, is. Oh, getting in and getting out is yeah, is something it's else. So funny, but, but they, I mean, they are so as soon as cool. You're in there, it's amazing. But getting yeah, getting in is like. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. No. But they look. Oh, they're so sick. No, no, they're insane. All and the then you got. A, a cool little spot here where you could put like a bunch of stuff. That's why I love the McLaren. You buy a Nura can, It's pretty practical. You buy a Nura can, you don't have the space here. Here yeah. I can put a suitcase or two suitcases, two more suitcases in the front yeah. because I drive the car a lot, like road trips and stuff, and this is just ideal. There's no other supercar that's... I mean, you've doubled the mileage in like 10 days. Yes. Basically. And with my old one, I did 35,000. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so you don't, you don't muck about, do you? No. So wait, let me hop in with you so I can show them more. <laughs> One thing which I find kind of cool, which people don't necessarily realize, is there's a little pocket right here in the door. That's correct. Yeah. That's also an option. And Oh, that's an option? And yeah. it locks, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you thought it locks? Yeah. No, no, it doesn't lock. Oh, it doesn't lock. Okay. But it's an option because normally the car comes without those and without the glove, glove box. Glove box, really? And without this to save weight. Ah. Uh, and no carpet. So it's like a no-cost option. Yeah, exactly. And no, 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 you have to pay. Oh, no way. And for the carpets. No way. Because normally it just comes with carbon. No way. They make you pay for that? Yeah, and no aircon. So when you get the car, there's no aircon. But there's the screen for it and the things for it. They just don't activate it, basically. They don't put it in because it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this one, thanks God, has it. It was quite funny because I paid for the car. I got the car. I was reading the spec list. And I was like, wait, the 602 doesn't come with the aircon. <gasps> so I called the dealer. I'm like, yo, did you? is the aircon there? Yeah. He's like, let me check. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh god, and okay, we have aircon. Imagine if you didn't have aircon. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. I don't know. That's well, I mean, awesome. So you've got aircon. You've got the upgraded Bowers and Wilton that's sound system. It is such a good sound system. Best thing ever. Oh, like, it's worth it. It's yeah. so worth it. So you've got a speaker here. Speaker there. Speaker, speaker down speaker there. Here, speaker there. here and in the back. Oh, yeah, you got some there you as got well. in the back. No, no, that, that actually makes a difference. Yeah. No, it's awesome. Carbon yeah. everywhere, obviously, and not an inch of leather. All, all, all 
uh, Alcatara. I quite like the fact on McLaren's there aren't any buttons on the screen. I love it. When you're and driving, you're just... You can change gear in both directions with one paddle. Yeah, so I get here. so many. You know, I post like a story on Instagram when I upshift and yeah, downshift yeah, yeah. with my like one hand, and everyone's like, "How can you do that?" Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. They're on it's like really a, cool. a, a, a really swivel cool. thing. Yeah, yeah, they're both. It's really cool. Connected. No, awesome, perfect. Well, let's go for a drive. Yes. Let's start. do it. If it starts, never starts. Know, never know with the McLaren. Right, we're, we're straight into a road with no asphalt. We're good. Yeah, yeah, there was no asphalt and I'm like, okay, we have the lift on. Yeah, I mean, fair, fair play to you. Yeah. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a mountain. That's not a speed bump. Oh, no, right, the, lift, the lift is quite high. Which it's just I have if to you say. forget to put it on, there's a problem. You can't forget it because at some point you're just going to hear that you forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, honestly, even though it hasn't been too long in the car, I'm super comfortable. You're comfortable, right? I'm, tell I'm telling all the people, they're like, yeah, those seats are the most uncomfortable seats ever. They do look really uncomfortable, I agree, 100%. Yeah, they look uncomfortable, but the cushions are placed in the right spots. They're mo definitely more comfortable than Lamborghini sports seats. Dude, Lamborghini bucket seats, I remember I was doing a road trip in the, in the, they're like the, in the SV. Thing. I had to buy a pillow for myself yeah. because I just couldn't handle it. No, they're the worst thing in the world. Now, my memory of this car is driving it on track and it was an animal. Yeah. Yep, yep, no, I, <laughs> my memory was correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a bit of heat in the tires. Oh. Yeah, we've warmed them up, I think. We've warmed them up. Oh, Hello. Oh, there's a car spotter here. Yeah, there's like six years old. Literally, so. Really quiet. Yeah. You don't really hear all that thing. 
We didn't have a tunnel yet today with you, but if we get into a tunnel, it just destroys your ears and it's stuck. Yeah. So now I'm like, I'm not gonna touch the exhaust. Why should I when it's, you know, it's ready enough? Yeah, no, I mean, it's your car. I, to be honest, I wouldn't change much on this. It's like when I got the Scud, I was like, I don't feel like I need to no, wrap it and all change it. It's not the car to change it. Yeah. yeah. This would actually probably look like cool next to the Scud and the R8 because they'd all gray. Oh, okay. that would be a cool uh, lineup. Yeah. Awesome. Right, well, we're going to go park up at a viewpoint right now and end the video there. But wow, that, I'm going to need to emotionally recover from that. <laughs> that was some, Oh, wait, we can show you the spotter quickly that we saw earlier. Oh, right. That was quite something. Yeah, the guy was like... I mean, we're like, I don't know if you can tell, we are far up in the hills. Flying. Flying. Is he here? Come on, lad. No! You hear the burbles? Yeah, the burbles are cool. He's gone. And, the, go up here? Yeah, and the 517 never did that. Yeah, that's so true. It was just the sound was very flat. Yeah. This one, if the exhaust is hot and you're sort of just rolling down for a second gear, it goes boom, boom, boom. And it probably shoots flames as we and drive it's along. In the tunnel, you look in your rear view mirror yeah. and you just see like flames that bake. That's it's, sick. It's the just, fact it's, that you can see it from the mirror is really I think cool. here you just get like the full on package, you know? Yeah. You pay the money for the car and you get everything. Insane driving, flames, yeah. uh, the look, doors going up. Like what else would you treat yeah. from a supercar? Oh, it's car? a full blown supercar. And I'm not just biased because I have one. I actually really think well, uh, about the McLaren, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but you're right. And it's cool to see someone who appreciates it and really loves the car yeah. that much. No. Oh. Look at this. Oh, so sick. So sick. Right, anyways, we'll join up at the viewpoint. Oh. Right, Vish arrived. arrived to an absolutely stunning viewpoint. I don't know if you guys know this, this spot above Monaco and actually in the distance there you can see a sail yacht. Uh, when I say a sail yacht, I don't, don't just mean a sail yacht. It's called sail yacht and the name is the letter A and it's the most expensive in the world. <laughs> uh, but Misha, massive congrats. Cheers, bro. High five because this is an epic, epic car. And well, just I'm so happy for you, and I'm happy to see how much you're enjoying it. Yay. So thanks for sharing it with us. You have an English channel with, I would say, arguably the highest produced YouTube uh, car reviews. So like, trying. yeah, they're awesome. So <laughs> I really, really want everyone to go see those. So I'll put the link down below. You've also got French vlog channel and Instagram. All the links will be down below Everything. if you guys want to see more with this car. It was a great drive. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you, everyone. So, Guys, take care. I'll see you soon. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and we'll be back again very, very soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.